How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I'm going to be debuting the 96 overall Cy Young in a game of ranked seasons. As we can see here, uh, this opponent has a good team, Whit Merrifield, King Griffey Sr., his creative player, Andrew Jones, Cliff Floyd, Manny Machado, Corey Seager, and Paul Goldschmidt with Justin Verlander on the mound. And uh, to start off the game, I gave up a double, but the clip kind of glitched out, but it's alright because we have an 0-2 count facing Ken Griffey Sr. with Whit Merrifield on second base, and I was able to pick him off right there as he kind of took one step lead and then an extra step and I picked him off. Cy Young's got a nice pickoff move as we can see, but I'm going with the uh, the screwball low and away. He's got a variety of curveballs that you can kind of mix in there along with the 95 fastball kind of gets up to 95, 96. There's a nasty screwball facing Danny Perez, which is his creative player. And I'm really just trying to establish the confidence early on with the Cy Young. I'm gonna be able to uh, locate my pitch pretty well because he does have 99 walks per nine and 99 control. There is, I threw a breaking ball low in the zone. Pablo Sanchez missed it, but he was able to corral it and throw the guy out. Now with Andrew Jones making his debut, his very first at bat, he's sending a home run out to left field. I picked up uh, the Andrew Jones because I sold Carlos Gomez and some guys I had in my inventory, like a couple golds I wasn't using, some silvers. But I was able to get that Andrew Jones, and he is going to lock it down out there in center field for us. As Pablo Sanchez sends one deep, that's going to be extra bases. His center fielder didn't quite throw the ball in right away. So I'm going to be able to get to third on that. Now we have Giancarlo standing up, and I'm looking to try and at least hit a sack fly in order to score him. The opponent has Andrew Jones in center field, and I'm going to test him here. 43 speed. I was hoping that the throw would be offline, and he throws me out by a mile. That's going to be it for that inning, a double play. Now we just have to look to pitch with the lead with Cy Young up by a run, facing his Andrew Jones. I went with the screwball inside, and he rolls it over, hits a ground ball to Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman is able to make the play over there at third base, diamond fielding. Now we're facing Cliff Floyd. I gave up the double earlier in the game with a sweeping curve. I wanted to go back to it, and I probably could have made that play with Cy Young if I preloaded the throw, but it did get through into the center field. Andrew Jones throws it in there to second base. But now we have Manny Machado up. And I figured that with 65 speed, 60 stealing, this guy might be aggressive and take the next base. I went to a slide step changeup, and he is trying to steal second. Pablo Sanchez guns him out with 93 arm strength. Uh, hopefully I can get that diamond 89 overall creative player maxed out at catcher pretty soon. But I know I only have a few more games left to play. But there I was able to get the strikeout with uh, Manny Machado on the fastball inside. Now I have Trevor Story up, and I power swung on that. Uh, that was a 12-6 curveball from Justin Verlander, and Trevor Story sends it out. A no doubt home run that somehow he brought back in in the yard but it did go out so I don't know if it bounced and hit just behind the fence and came back in but somehow that was a home run now we're facing Corey Seager and Corey Seager definitely excels hitting right-handed pitching but I'm going with the fastball inside I'm trying to jam him up here I also want to test this fastball from Cy Young especially on all-star difficulty and in his debut game I really wanted to try and see how fast I could really throw that pitch and how effective the fastball was working off of these breaking pitches and that changeup because that changeup is thrown around 80 miles an hour and the fastball is at like 95, 96. So that's definitely a good differential, but he throws a screwball on his breaking pitches around 70 something miles an hour. So that's definitely key to keep in mind. But there, Justin Verlander is sending a base hit to right field, but Stanton is gonna throw him out uh, as the first baseman is covering the bag there and Cody Bellinger. That brings up Ronald Acuna in the bottom of the third inning, and I was sitting on a fastball there. I smashed it out to dead center field. That's going to be a no-doubter, and the opponent lost connection. It's unfortunate, but that's going to be uh, Cy Young's debut. I did not get him in this next game. We have Walker Buehler on the mound. We're facing Blake Snell. Uh, he has Trey Turner, Jacoby Ellsbury, Mookie Betts, JD, Nolan Arenado, some good cards. He's got Javier Baez. Definitely some good cards on this team, mostly diamonds. And uh, Jacoby Ellsbury is going to send one out deep left field to with one out already in the game, and Acuna is going to track that one down. So now we have Andrew Jones up, who only has one at bat so far and hit a home run. Now he's going to tap one to the pitcher. His pitcher is taking a weird route to that one, and he's unable to make the play. That's going to be an infield base hit from Andrew Jones. Brings up Giancarlo Stanton, and I lined out to right field. I just didn't pull that pitch. If I pull that one, it's probably a two-run shot, and I'm up 2 nothing. But anyway, we have J.D. Martinez up at the plate. And I go with the fastball inside a two-seamer. That Walker Buehler two-seam fastball has a lot of movement. And if you're able to get it inside on the hands, it's a very effective pitch at around 97. But then in the bottom of the second inning with Jonathan Scope, I'm sending one into left center field. That's going to be extra bases. That, that Jonathan Scope gold card has been absolutely amazing for me ever since I picked him up. Hitting versus right-handers, hitting versus lefties, it does not matter. The card absolutely rakes. 
And now we have Trevor Story up. He's going to send one up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. 58 speed coming around, testing the arm out there in center field. And he also throws me out there. So back-to-back -back games, I got hosed out at the plate. But that brings up Matt Chapman with two outs in the inning. I sent that one into the right center field gap. That's going to be extra bases. Trevor Story is coming around to score from second base. And I was thinking about testing him going to third there, but I've already got thrown out a couple times. I probably would have been thrown out once again. Now I have Javier Baez up top of the third inning, and I hung this pitch a little bit. Hits it right to third base. Matt Chapman knocks it down and throws him out. That was a nice play over there. I thought that was going to get through or at least be an extra base hit. Possibly a home run. I threw that one over the middle. But Andrew Jones making another appearance at the plate. Sending one into the gap. That's going to be extra bases. So, so far, he's three for three with the home run, a double, and then an infield base hit the previous at-bat. But and uh, I wasn't able to get anything going with Andrew Jones, but I had to include that at-bat in his debut. And uh, later on in the game, Trey Turner is going to hit a jam base hit. Walker Buehler makes the play. Definitely got a good animation there. Wanted to include that play. It was a nice play from the pitcher. And lefty-lefty uh, facing Blake Snell. Cody Bellinger sends one up the middle. That was on a 1-2 count, I believe, and that was a curveball. I sat on it and pulled it up the middle. And then very next batter is Jonathan Scope. Once again, he's sending one up the middle as well. So two back-to-back -back hits up the gut. And that's going to bring up uh, Ronald Acuna. I did indeed hit a double with Matt Chapman, but for some reason the clip glitched out. Later on in the same inning, Acuna gets a base knock to keep the inning going. And now we have Andrew Jones up the plate once again. I'm going with the steal, hit and run. And that's going to be a perfectly executed hit and run. I'm going first to third with Acuna. And that's going to bring up the heart of my order in Pablo Sanchez facing a lefty with Billy Hamilton swing. I was sitting on a pitch up and inside. He threw it up there, and I didn't think that one was going to be sent out. But Jacoby Ellsbury's unable to make the play out there in left field. I was surprised because that card has really good fielding. But I was, was able to get to third base on that miscue out there. The opponent did go ahead and quit shortly after that. And then in the last game, we have A.J. Burnett on the mound. This opponent's got Kerry Wood. This opponent was also in the DS, so this game would be played on Hall of Fame difficulty. And uh, definitely can notice the pitch speeds are much faster in this one. But there, in the, with two outs in the inning, Pablo Sanchez is sending one deep to center field, and Steve Finley's going to make the grab there. That was a hanging curveball. I sat on it and hit it well. But you guys can definitely see the difference in pitch speeds. At least I could tell when I was playing this game that uh, right there Mookie Betts jam shot to first base. Now we have Giancarlo Stanton up and that's going to be a seeing eye single through the hole there. I was sitting on a fastball because I know that this opponent's going to try to throw those fastballs especially with Kerry Wood. He doesn't really have the best control. And now we have uh, Cody Bellinger up at the plate. He's going to pull one down the line and I was hoping that wouldn't hit that little triangle piece in right field and bounce off but it did. I thought I was going to be thrown out at second base there but Bellinger is getting into second base with a double. Later on in the inning, he walked Jonathan Scope. That brings up Trevor Story, and I hit a jam, a jam shot right to second base, but brings up Matt Chapman, and Matt Chapman's going to pick up the slack there and do his job, hit a, a sack fly into center field, and that's going to allow Cody Bellinger to get to third base as well. It's a pretty close play, but he's in there safely. And uh, now I'm just looking to pitch with the lead. We have a 3-2 count facing J.D. Martinez, and he swung pretty late on that one. I don't know why he, was, he might have been trying to mess me up with that uh, square around a bunt, trying to get the, the ball four there to lead off the inning on a walk. But Javier Baez is missing extra bases by about a, an inch or so. Uh, send that down the third baseline. That's going to be a foul ball. And now I'm looking to uh, attack him right here. 0-2 count. I'm going with the sinker low and inside. And hopefully I can get the strikeout here. 20th pitch from A.J. Burnett. We do get the strikeout with two outs now. Facing Jose Bautista. And this card is an absolute beast. Throw a change up low and away, and the pitch differential, the pitch speed differential there is the, is the reason why I was able to get that out because I think that he squared that one up. He was early on it as well, and uh, later on in the game I drew a walk with Andrew Jones in his other at bat. I wanted to show all the at bats with Andrew Jones if possible, and then later on in the game the opponent is sending an extra base hit, a ground rule double with Gary Sanchez to lead off the bottom of the third inning. Now we're facing Steve Finley, and I hung that curveball. That was a knuckle curve, and I hung it over the middle of the plate. He tapped it to second base, and he's rounding third. That's going to be a double play. So on a pitch where he could have done some damage, he is running himself out of the inning and uh, hitting into a double play there. Later in the game, Cody Bellinger is sending one through the right side there past the first baseman, Joey Gallo. That's going to be a base hit. That brings up Matt Chapman later on with two outs, and he's going to do another job there as he sends one into center field for a single. And that's going to score Cody Bellinger. A big hit with two outs there. The bottom of my order was up. The pitcher was on deck. Later on in the game with Andrew Jones up on an 0-0 count. I am ripping a base hit. 
to center field. So this Andrew Jones in his very first game is making, or very first couple games, is making a huge impact. He's had a wonderful debut. I was glad to get a, a, at least a few at bats with him. But I did try to steal second with him as well, test out his speed. I got thrown out, and then Pablo Sanchez hits a no doubt home run, which could have been a two run shot. But I got thrown out the previous pitch. So we do go up 3-0. Later on, very next batter, Giancarlo Stanton on a fastball low and in. The very next pitch, he sends it out on a no-doubt home run. I was looking for a pitch inside there. But let's fast forward to the bottom of the ninth inning. Facing Joey Gallo, the opponent is stealing home. He was able to hit a home run earlier in the game with uh, Jose Bautista, but Joey Gallo did end the game there on a ground ball to Matt Chapman. A.J. Burnett was the player of this one. I went eight innings with them, struck out 11 and I would have liked to include the rest of the game, but I wanted to keep this video short and sweet and uh, to as much action as possible. We had a few innings where we had some down innings. The opponent only had three hits in that game, but definitely uh, factored in with the pitch speeds and everything. It took me quite a, a little bit of time to adjust as well. But we do move up to 790, so I went almost an entire division in this video, but we do also get three wins in this glove. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm College Lefty, and peace out.